Breaking and creating habits can be more fun if you don't focus on the change. If you think of it as playing games with yourself, you will enjoy breaking bad habits and replacing them with good ones. If you want to change a bit in the long term, in the beginning, you have to rely on willpower. But willpower is a finite resource and can't be relied on. Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about the 20 second rule and how to use laziness in your advantage. In other words, the more decisions you make on a daily basis, the order in which to organize your agenda, what to order for lunch, when to do your groceries and so on, the more likely you are to experience what psychologists call decision fatigue. Once you experience decision fatigue, improving habits, especially at the end of a stressful day, becomes less of a priority. It is all about the start and you can make this transition to new habits more effectively with the 20 second rule. What is the 20 second rule? The initiation of any task is the most decisive part of it, why you take the decision to do it or not. If you make this process longer than 20 seconds, you are more likely to not do it. For example, if you have a habit of watching TV after dinner and you want to replace it with reading a book. Let's visualize this scenario in detail. After dinner, you sit on the couch and the remote is right there on the couch. So, you automatically pick the remote and turn on the TV. On the other hand, the book you want to read is lying on your desk in the other room. The time required for you to start watching the TV is just a few seconds in contrast with the time required for you to start reading that book. Replacing Habits to replace the habit of watching TV by reading a book, you'll have to flip the time required to get started. Well, it doesn't sound practical to switch places of the TV and the study table, right? Although, there are small things you can do. Start with the remote. Put it in the other room every time you close the TV. Make it even harder by removing the batteries and putting them inside a drawer with a lot of stuff. Now, make the plan foolproof. Every time you close the TV, remove its plug from the power source. Finally, take the book you are reading and put it on the couch. You need to decrease the activation energy you need to do positive habits and increase it to do negative habits. Laziness of our brains Our brain prefers to spend as little energy as possible while doing an action. Science from the University of Geneva and University Hospitals of Geneva in Switzerland came to this conclusion after studying the neuron activity of people who had the choice of either engaging in physical activity or doing nothing. This natural laziness can be used as a positive advantage when you are forming new habits or breaking the old ones. How to use the 20 second rule? Step 1. Notice what distractions get in the way. While focusing on your habit, do you really need to know the instant each email arrives? Do you keep your phone on your desk while you try to focus? Step 2. Add an obstacle that takes at least 20 seconds to get to the distractor. For example, if your devices are tempting you, try some of these recommendations on for size. Turn your cell phone sound off and put it where you cannot see it. Delete email and unnecessary icons from task bars and start menus. Disable notifications and cookies. Remove widgets and apps from home screens. Activate an app that blocks the use of internet and other apps. Step 3. Assess existing barriers to getting started on your dissertation. Do you have to figure out where you are going to work? Is there a clutter that triggers thoughts of other activities? Do you know what your next step is? Or will you waste valuable time trying to decide whether to read another article, transcribe an interview, or write a new section of your lead review? Can you shave off 20 seconds or more from the time it takes to get going? Step 4. Remove as many of above barriers as possible. To make getting to work a breeze, even a pleasure, be creative. Here are some possibilities. Have all your tools in one convenient, well-lit place. Provide yourself with an appropriate chair and good lighting. Keep the current working document on your desktop. Have at hand a list of next action steps, not outcomes. There are multiple ways you can experiment with a 20 second rule. If you want to replace a bad habit like drinking alcohol after work with a better one, consider moving your pint glasses to another room in your house or leaving alcohol that's best served chill 
unrefrigerated. Another example could be optimizing your phone time. You must have noticed that there are a few apps in your phone which you want to avoid but end up using very frequently. One of the reasons for this are the habits that you have formed over time. Your brain remembers the automated pattern of opening and using the app. You instinctively know where the app is on your phone screen and without giving it too much a thought, you use the app again and again. You can reduce this automated action by moving the app to a different location in your home screen and move it again when you get familiar with the location. The next time you want to use that app, you will have to search it or look at a different location. This will make you more mindful about using the application over its usage. Or even if you would like to minimize the number of hours you spend online, delete the social media apps on your smartphone or install a plugin for your browser that limits the internet usage. You can disable this plugin because it requires extra effort and activation energy. On the other hand, if you want to eat more healthily, consider doing one weekly grocery shop for the whole week. Prepare your lunch and dinner meals in advance or leave your credit or debit card at home to minimize the temptation of ordering takeaways. Why it works? Why would such a simple strategy work? Well, when you create a 20-second delay before engaging in a distraction, you are giving your brain the necessary pause to switch from its predominant impulsive mode to its executive mode the one which remembers your long-term best interest. Furthermore, every time you repeat your new behavior, you're actually rewiring your brain. This makes the new behavior more automatic, say neuroscientists, because neurons that fire together, wire together. In effect, you are creating new, self-sustaining habits. Many researchers explained that success depends much more on good habits than on willpower, which is a depletable resource. Think of it this way. Developing a good habit is like putting money in your account while you are young. The rewards will continue to compound over the years. Good habits make more cognitive energy available for doing great work, like finishing a dissertation. Isn't that worth an investment of 20 seconds this week? Conclusion more than the task, changing habits is more about the process of getting started. Either you want to break a habit or create a new one, 20 second rule is an effective way to not worry about motivation and easily get started with a task. And remember, lowering the barrier to change by just 20 seconds can be all it took to help you developing a new healthy habit. Thank you for watching Future Self Made Billionaires. Be sure to subscribe because more useful content is on the way.